WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very beautiful and cool Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We've got a slightly mixed bag out there. The mix is coming from the Dow, which is up 21 points. The other indices are trading to the downside. Dow's down. Um, not Dow. The S&P is up 25. NASDAQ 168, about 1%. Same for the Russell or 22 points. 2% for the semis. 91 point move there. Trading is off 102, about 6 tenths percent. We've got gold trading up 14. Seven tenths of percent. Silver trading down one and seven tenths percent or 41 pennies. Lights we crude is trading out at 78.48. That's off 71 cents. Natural gas is flat and the 30 year treasury up 11 ticks, trading out at 118.18. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel. Market update chart. We begin the ES mini upper left hand side. What do we know about it? We're trading below yesterday's low. It's trading with inside a bearish structured profile based upon my black background charts. That would suggest to move down to 49.39 with price closing below the 50.24 level. Spot bow tunics is still well above its 50 day exponential moving average. That is a bullish signal for the sellers out there, so to speak. So sellers have control of the market. If we take a look at the NQ, the NQ is testing a key level of support. That level of support is the bottom of its profile, 17.531. You will see when we start the Trader's Edge show, you'll see all kinds of bottoming patterns on the intraday charts out there. Expect that support has held and expect a rally. We'll try to figure out where the first targets are during the Trader's Edge show. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, pulled back and testing support, support being the bottom of its profile, 103.66. Gold is rallied. And, pre and as gold is rallied, it is stalled at the center of its profile, the center of its profile, which can be an area where you would have resistance at 2041. It was sitting in that while the U.S. dollar index was finding support out there. If we take a look at silver, silver back inside its daily profile, that would suggest that Friday's close was a false breakout uh, move out there. And in fact, if we get silver to close below 2321, we could see move to 2254. Light speed crude is consolidating with inside its daily profile. Um, my recollection is it needed to close above 77.56 in order to generate a TD9 count top. So it doesn't look like that's going to happen. But we do have price consolidating between resistance and support. 78.43 is resistance. 73.15 to 73.81 is your support level. On Friday, natural gas generated a buy the D point pattern. That level is being tested as we speak right now. That's at a buck 63 out there. And finally, the 30 year Treasury still below the bottom of its daily profile, below the 0.382 retracement of its last leg out there. That could be signaling to you and I that the 30 year wants to make its way down to the 114 area. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed show, if you will. But if you have to start your Tuesday, please have a terrific one. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Everything in the